Hey there guys, what's going on? How you is? Be welcome back to another episode of Gullah Grits TV. Child 101 for Miss This Year Bitches today. It's gonna be a good one. Today I'm gonna be giving you my five tips on the art of unbothered. <laughs> Number one, live for you alone. If anybody knows me, they know that this is my motto. You are the only person that's going to be with you for the rest of your life. Not your mama, not your daddy, not your sister, not your children, not your husband, not nobody. It's gonna be able to, you came in this world by yourself, unless you're a twin, but, and you're gonna leave by yourself. So you have to do every single thing that makes you happy. You cannot depend on someone else for your happiness. You are your source. You are your main, you are your main ride or die. <laughs> Literally. Living for you and you alone. That's it. Make yourself the most important thing in your life after God. And everything works out in a way that you would not believe. Tip number two, take time to yourself. And most importantly, don't apologize for it. If you are not feeling up to anything, if you are not feeling up to a hike or hanging out with friends or answering the phone or calling somebody, if you're not feeling it, you don't have to feel obligated to do anything that you don't wanna do. And don't apologize for, oh, I'm so sorry I didn't like, oh, no. No, you are in charge of you. If you are not feeling good, if you need to take some time and reset and recharge your battery, take that time for yourself and make sure that you're recharging your battery and not loathing, okay? Take that time for yourself. You owe it to yourself to take time for you. Tip number three. People's opinion about your life is none of your business. Their perception of you is not your reality. Some people may be like, oh, well, they act like this, or they do this, or something, 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 blah, blah, blah. As long as you know that that's not who you are, that's, then that's none of your business. You don't need to give any unnecessary energy to somebody that is not benefiting you or bringing any type of good energy into your aura. If they want to take the time to inhale and then take that, send those nerves up to their brain to keep your name in their brain, to pull that down to their tongue, to use that breath that they inhaled to speak your name and speak negatively, that's them that wasted all that energy when they could have been doing something else productive for themselves. That's not your problem. Their perception of you is not your reality. Tip number four. <laughs> I'm back, y'all. I gotta look carried away. Um, tip number four. Okay. Haters exist. Haters exist. But just like Ghost, you have the option to believe in them or not. I, for the longest time, didn't know that I didn't give any energy to haters. I didn't know if I had any. I don't even, I still to this day don't know if I have any. If you are a hater, please comment down below so I can say that I don't give a crap. <laughs> but yes, people are always going to speak negatively about you. People are always going to want to talk something. Somebody always got something to say. And if you ain't starting no mess, then you ain't doing your job right in this earth. Okay? Keep pushing forward. That's their problem. Tip number five and the most important one. Tip number five. Your past does not control you. Your past does not control your present. 
what has happened in the past, you cannot sit and linger on those things of the past and try to move forward at the same time. Let that stuff go because sometimes you can become your own worst enemy. That in itself can keep you from being, from being a productive person. You bothering your own energy by sticking to stuff in the past. Oh, well, this, this person did this to me, or um, I couldn't do this in the past, or I still feel like I can't do this because of what happened in the past. Uh-uh, no, 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 baby. It's time to move forward. Your past does not control you. It doesn't control you. I just wanted to make this quick little video to, you know, help you guys. Because uh, some people, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> so some people, like, they, they care too much about what other people may think, that what your family may think, what even that voice inside your head that says you can't may think. And it's time for you to let all of that go and move into a space of pure whatever I want. Whatever I want to do. And I don't care if you like it, I don't care. If I like it, I love it. If you have something to say, that sounds like a you problem. Because it ain't going to bother me. And I hope that it don't bother you. I love you guys so much. Make sure you comment down below, like, share, and subscribe to Galakrits TV. I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a blessed, blessed, unbothered day.